Soccer 605 here with Andy Jansen of Bemidji State. We're uh, talking a little bit about their soccer camp that's coming up this summer and uh, really happy to see uh, at least one player from South Dakota on your team and, and uh, I suppose that's a good, a good place for players to show up and have you guys look at them uh, for ID. Oh yeah, I mean the last, I think it's seven of the last nine people that committed to us have been at our camp so you know, we take it very serious, you know, we do a lot of evaluations there and the, the great thing about our camp is too is we kind of run it like a, a college program and we try and make it as much like the way we run our program. So we do like team bonding stuff, we do practices, we do dorm stuff, you get to go eat in the cafeteria. It's actually a two and a half day so you're going to stay in the dorms two of the nights. You know, and then we take them for a walk down by the lake and just try and give them all the Bemidji atmosphere as possible and what the experience would be like if you came to Bemidji State. Well, I'll tell you, your uh, school is located in a beautiful area there, um, up in kind of in the North Woods area, and uh, that's got to be a great place for girls who love nature to come uh, take a look. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great for everyone, especially if you want to go water skiing or, you know, tubing. You know, some families have boats up there, and you could do a whole bunch of that stuff. So, yeah, like in our camp, we'll go, we'll do like a tug of war out in the lake, just so they can kind of get a feel of what the lake's like in the summer. So, as far as uh, the soccer goals are, I imagine you're working on the same stuff that most other camps. You're doing some technical stuff and some tactical stuff, a little bit of the psychological classroom stuff, probably, and uh, just uh, you know, doing an overall uh, education there. Yep, we we do everything that we try and do in the season. I mean, it's probably not as in depth as what we get in, you know, with our current team. But you know, we'll do stuff in the classroom. We'll do film. We'll do a Q and A. So if you have any questions about college soccer, you know, we'd be happy to answer them. Uh, we have a game a game day experience. So what we'll actually do is we'll bring them in to like a classroom. We'll have a pregame and then we'll have them go warm up like our team warms up and then we'll have our speakers out there with music and you know we'll try and create the atmosphere as much as possible of what a game day is like. So uh, remind us again uh, what the camp dates are. Uh, the camp dates are June 14th to the 16th and then there's another one August 2nd to the 4th and those are our college bounds. We have a couple of our youth camps and high school camps but you know, the ones for college prospects are the ones I just listed before. All right, and what is the cost of the camp? The cost of the camp is $175, and that includes everything. So, you know, you pay the 175 and you don't have to worry about anything else. So just to kind of give us a reference of if somebody was going to take off from, say, Sioux Falls yep. or Brookings, uh, how long does it take to drive up there? Mm, it depends how fast you go, I guess. You know, I probably I probably get here in about five and a half, but it's probably around five and a half, six hours from Sioux Falls. You know, it's probably 45 minutes less from Brookings. So definitely within the striking range of most kids in South Dakota to, to go to college and not be too far away from home anyway? Oh, yeah. I mean, some kids want to say they're close to home, far away. Uh, I think that's kind of the perfect distance because if you want to get home and you see your family like I drove down Friday I'm here for the week and I'm gonna come I'm gonna go right back and I'm gonna be working Monday so it's really not that far and yeah and if the parents want to come up you know one of the best things about our team is our parents are the some of our best fans like they create their own little community so we'll have you know we have 28 on our roster probably about 20 to 25 of their parents are there so are, are you going to have, uh, during the camp, are you going to have some of your players that are helping out? Yeah, we will, because we'll have a couple on the first one, uh, definitely more at the second one, because we're actually taking our team to Costa Rica for a foreign tour, and they're going to be practicing, because we get 10 days before we leave on that tour, and so right after the camp, the coaches are going to be going right down to Minneapolis, and we're going to get on a plane, and we're taking our team to Costa Rica, and right when we get back from Costa Rica, we start our preseason. You won't have to worry about playing in any snow when you're in Costa Rica. <laughs> no, I, I hope not, especially in the summer days. <laughs> I heard it rains a whole bunch, so we'll probably see rain every day. Yeah, it's very tropical, and hopefully yeah. they'll uh, get over their heartache from the from the loose loss they had the other night against the men's national team anyway. 
Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a uh, there's a good camp for you, or, or a couple traces at Bemidji State this summer. Andy, thanks a lot for spending a little time with us, and uh, good luck. Thank you.